Well, good morning, guys, from one of my favorite places in the world. We're up here at our property in Gilchrist County, Florida. Who's we on this trip? It's me, Jen, and Ricky. You might hear some chickens and things like that next door. There's some donkeys over there. My parents are our next door neighbors when we're up here. So with that, welcome to another episode of The Outdoors with Rich. As you might imagine on this episode, we're gonna be doing a couple really cool meals. We're gonna do a breakfast meal that we're gonna show you guys and also a pretty cool dinner. Guys, we're so far back here on the dirt roads, we're out in the country. So for breakfast, Jen's cooking up a country favorite. We even have a dessert we're gonna do that we consider a springtime favorite. Guys, we're gonna be building a tripod over our campfire area. As you see, this one here is a little bit old. We like to replace these tripods every year and just get some fresh cordage and some fresh wood, really just for safety purposes. So this one's coming down, and a little bit later, we'll be putting up a new one. So I see you got your ingredients out here. We'll talk about those in a little bit. And it's gonna be a good old biscuits and gravy breakfast. Yep. We'll finish our coffee and get started on breakfast. Cheers. Are you saying it? I thought you were gonna say oh. something. <laughs> I thought you were. All right guys, let's make some biscuits. First thing we gotta do is add about a tablespoon of vinegar to our milk um, and try to let that curdle a little bit. How much is in the how much milk did you start with um a third of a cup of milk i have it all written right here we got a third of a cup of milk and a tablespoon of vinegar um, i have some pancake mix and baking powder in here uh, we're gonna let this curdle mix it all together add a little melted butter to it quarter cup and then bake some biscuits this is going to curdle a little bit, which is means it's kind of thickening. See that on the fork? It's the vinegar and the milk. So, I don't know if I told you, but the reason that the milk curdles or you want it to curdle with the vinegar is because um, it creates it uh, more of a buttermilk texture or flavor to the biscuits the curdling does and then also the vinegar cuts out some of the sweetness from the pancake mix All right, so we just added butter, let that melt, and now we're gonna add a little bit of flour to our meat. Mix that in. You just basically let it simmer, let it cook a little bit until it gets to the right thickness that you want. If it gets a little too thick, you can add a little more milk. If you're satisfied with it, you just take it off the heat and it's ready to go. See, it's getting thicker. Just keep letting it sizzle in there a little longer. Looking good, babe. Looking good, smelling good. Check that out, guys. And as we always say before every meal, don't forget to say your prayers. Yum. Do you see here how much the boys left me? Thank you. 
no hot sauce. We always forget one thing. <laughs> well, we have a little bit of vinegar there. Maybe we can make some. Cheyenne and I did that last video where we made quesadillas and we forgot the taco mix. But I'm really not like, this is really good. I don't think we need hot sauce. I'd probably prefer it. I'd definitely put it in if we had it here, but it's not like, you know, it's not like it's lacking flavor. And I guess the sausage already has a little bit of a spice to it. Right, I grabbed the hot, <clears throat> hot sausage. Ready to go cut some trees? Ready. Can you get the gate? Yes. I can maybe go through this at one side. up here. All right guys, so before you get excited, yes, we're gonna cut down live trees. We are on private property. You can hear my parents' dog, you can hear chickens. You can probably see the gates we've gone through and the fences, so Definitely don't just go out in the woods and cut you down live trees to make tripods. I'm not promoting that at all. Once a year, we replace the wood in these tripods or in our tripod with some woods we have here on our property. And as you could see, we have trees everywhere. We actually want to thin some of these to help a little bit with the growth anyway. Hey, what are you guys doing? We don't have any treats. No. Can I pet you? No? You just wanted a treat? That's it? All right, guys, we're going to be loud with the chainsaw for a little bit in your yard here. So go on down to the other side and we'll be out of here soon. hungry. You're welcome. Enjoy guys. This guy looks a little heavier. Once I put my muscular, ooh, just kidding. 
Once I put my muscular abilities to it, shoot. Look at here. I think this one's a little bit longer. Oh, not much. Okay, that's two. So guys, a quick tip for your cooler when you're traveling. All I did was I simply took and boiled an egg. We, we boiled several eggs and we put them in this uh, vacuum seal. Now our vacuum sealer will do uh, a setting on there where it doesn't like really scrunch it tight, but it takes a lot of the air out and it makes it where it's not gonna get all sticky or water's gonna leak into this when it's setting in your cooler. Put these little slits in, the, in your bag. So even if you're not holding a pocket knife or carrying a pocket knife, you can tear it right open and boom, you got you a boiled egg for a quick snack. Farm fresh eggs, right from our chickens to me. Not the chickens you hear over there, that's my parents. This came all the way from Brandon. All right guys, now we're gonna tie a timber hitch to these three trees we just cut down so we can drag them with the cart over to where we wanna put them up. Take your rope and go around your rope, okay? Now the rope that just came around, you're gonna go under that three times. One, Two, and then we'll go under a, a third time there and stretch it down the length of the tree. So what's gonna happen is this is all gonna tighten up. You see, we can move this around, let that shuffle under the tree. When this pulls tight, this is gonna be able to pull right here. We'll be able to pull these trees. And then when we're done, this is gonna come undone super easily. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is take this old one down. Now you wanna be careful with this because this rope, this cordage has been up there a year. If something snaps loose up top here, you don't want one of these sticks coming down. So definitely keep an eye up here and watch, you know, in case you need to book it behind you, you're not gonna be tripping over things. So I'm just gonna go nice and steady And when I got it clear, I'm just gonna make a spot. And there she goes. Now we're gonna tie the lashing on our new tripod. So one of the challenges you're gonna have when you're trying to put a tripod together is the inconsistencies of the branches. You can see the big gap down here, okay? Where that comes into play, when it's time to put your poles together, you wanna try to get them as tight together as possible. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a clove hitch. We're going to go around. Come across. And then go right back through the middle of that cross, okay? We tighten this down, neaten that up a little bit. We've got ourselves a clove hitch. And the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go around our poles, all three of them, five times. This is what I believe to be a proper tripod lashing, is to go five times. If you're doing something quick in the woods and you need to just put a kettle up to cook some quick dinner and you're gonna be tearing it down the next day, um, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'm holding them back here together with my feet as best I can. If your branches were real straight, you could get these tighter. I'm not crazy about this gap in here, but it's what we got to work with. Once you've got your five, 
as soon as you come over this side you want to go right back down in that hole and then what we're going to do is we're going to go around this twice come over and come around this twice see how that's going to be able to pull that down you can almost hear that tightening up you could put a stick here if you're hurting your hand and tighten that down now we can jump over so we've got five here two here you can see all this coming together real nice all right so we had our two here i'm just going to pull this nice and tight and i'm just going to bury my line under itself my cordage under itself and again guys use your discretion if you need to do it the proper way do it the proper way but if you're doing it you know we're putting this thing up for the next year i got the cordage so i want to do it right probably tighten these up a little bit we even got a little friend coming up to see how we did a little caterpillar Well guys, there's been a little bit change of plans. So guys, as I was finishing up the final stages of that tripod wrapping, our phone rang with some urgent news. A family member of ours that has been on the transplant list for quite some time got the phone call. They had three hours to get to the hospital to get their new organ. It was being flown in on a plane and we were gonna do everything we could to be there and see them before they went into this massive surgery. The surgery went extremely well and they're recovering much faster than expected. So with a grateful heart, we're gonna end this one here. Go hug your loved ones and plan a nice trip with them because you never know what tomorrow will bring. We love you and we'll see you on the next adventure.